the idea for working with these illusions is to study how the brain interprets the signals that come through the eyes. Your brain tells you that you're seeing a regular man with a torso and a face that comes toward you. The nose sticks out in front of the m cheeks and the mouth. That's what our brain says that we see. But this is not exactly what it is. Actually, you're seeing a hollow ma mask. So we're familiar with faces being always convex. In other words, the nose, the nose sticks out. Even though the eyes, the two eyes, tell the brain that this is a hollow mask, our brain refuses to believe that there are out there hollow masks. Our brain thinks that these are two streets that recede into the distance with a central building that comes toward you. But that's not exactly what's happening. Interestingly, people with schizophrenia have a tendency to not see this illusion. Schizophrenia is diagnosed through clinical signs and symptoms. There are no laboratory tests currently that can be used to diagnose the condition. What I'd like to see as the uh, ultimate uh, extension of this is that these types of tasks can be used to help diagnose serious illnesses like schizophrenia. People with many symptoms seem to not see the illusion. They seem to be very accurate on perceiving uh, or telling us what's really there. And as they get better clinically and start to function better, then they see the illusions again. You may be able to actually predict when someone's going to get worse or get better. We are hopeful that we can develop methods and finding out if a certain treatment is superior to another treatment by showing people our stimuli and finding out how they react at different stages of treatment. Because now sometimes you wait six or eight weeks when people are on a medication the first time before you know if they're going to respond or not. It'd be great if we had a laboratory test that could tell us that in the first two weeks, say.